LearnThisThing.com Welcome to LearnThisThing.com, where we show you how to use the tools you already have to do the things that you want to do. My name is Josh, and today we are going to discuss the state of your digital tapes. Um, these can be these mini DV tapes like you see here, or digital Hi8 tapes that are a little bit larger. But basically, the most popular digital format right now that most people's video cameras are shooting. The problem is, your footage is on these tapes. Your memories, your, your, your Christmas is past, and they're hard to see, they're hard to share. Often people are only able to use their camera to connect to their TV to actually see the tapes. And so that curtails how often you share them with family and friends. So what I'm going to show today is how to connect your digital camera to your computer using Windows Movie Maker so you can begin to capture the footage that's on these tapes onto your computer and begin to edit them. But we're just going to stick with the basics, getting the camera connected to the computer. So this is my home movie camera. And right here on the front, under the panel, is a little port. That's the FireWire port. That's the port that connects the camera to the computer and lets them talk to each other. The connection on this end comes from this cable right here. It's very small and it's uh, rectangular with an indent on one side that fits right in to the camera like that. The other end of this cable is also rectangular, but it has sort of these boxed in ends. This goes on the back of your computer into your FireWire port. Okay, now I've got the camera connected to the back of the computer and the cord connected to the front of the camera, but before I turn it on, I'm going to go over to the computer and I'm going to launch Windows Movie Maker. So, here on the computer, we'll go down to the Start menu, click on the Start menu, and then under All Programs, if we just hover over that arrow, all the programs on my computer will come up. Well, right here is Windows Movie Maker. One click, and there opened a version of Windows Movie Maker ready to make a movie. So now, we'll come back over to the camera here. And on the camera, there's usually two ways to turn on your camera. You can turn it on to be a camera, to shoot video, or as a player VCR. We're going to do the player VCR. So I will switch down to player, and that turns the camera on as a VCR, and it also causes the computer to recognize that it's received a new device. So back over here on the screen, it says, select the video capture device you want to capture from and configure the device if necessary. The available devices are the built-in camera on the computer or the Canon DV device. That's what the camera I just plugged in. So we'll go ahead and select next. And it says, enter a file name for the captured video. I'm going to enter Christmas. 2007. Choose a place to save your captured video. My videos is a good place. We'll just leave it right there. Click next. All right. Now it says best quality for playback on my computer, which they recommend, or digital device format, DV or AVI, or other settings. And then that actually allows us to, to, to try and choose settings. In this case, and for this demonstration, we're going to stick with best quality for playback on my computer, which is the recommended. And we're going to go ahead and click Next. Then it says capture the entire tape automatically or capture parts of the tape manually. We're going to capture parts of the tape manually. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as show preview during capture and click Next. Alrighty, now we have the video capture wizard for the Canon DV device. And here's the little preview. If we were to push play, the camera begins to play, and we see the video. That being my children waiting to come out on Christmas morning. Okay, we're going to end right here for now. In this episode, we've simply covered how to connect your camera to the computer, how to open Windows Movie Maker, and how to configure your camera so it will talk to the computer. In upcoming episodes, we'll show you how to capture that video, edit the video, and share the video. We'll also do, an, we'll do a segment on your old VHS tapes and your other analog formats that don't fit into your nice little digital camera. 
As always, if you have a question or comment or a suggestion of a topic that we might cover for you, please leave a comment in the comment section on the website or send us an email. Also, if you learned something today in this episode, do us a favor, tell a friend.